Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to Buddy Daddy's episode 5. And in the last episode, we finally got Meaty into a good daycare and we found out a way to help her get along with the other kids. At first, I feel like they were a bit intimidated of her because on her first day, she came in with these super expensive, fancy clothes. And so at first, a lot of the kids were avoiding her, but thanks to the help of Kazuki, he was able to kind of bring all of the kids together. And soon after, they started to get along with Midi and he was even able to leave the entire like little ball game that they were playing and they were still having a great time just playing with Midi. So that was really heartwarming to see. But I can't wait to see what this episode has in store for us. So if you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like, subscribe so that you guys know whenever I drop a brand new reaction. And if you'd like to check out my uncut reactions, you can find them over on my Patreon, which you guys can join for as low as two dollars. But whenever you guys are ready, we'll be starting this episode in three, two, one, go. What is this? Is this like their their monthly expenses? Dang, that's a lot. Meanwhile, Ray and Miri. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, now you got his attention. No pudding. <laughs> That's all he had to say to get their attention. No pudding and no games. Oh no. What is he planning here? Working? Oh. Oh, okay. He's getting another spy job. I thought he was gonna, like, get a part-time job. Mmm. So they gotta start small and work their way back up to where they were after that fiasco that they had last time. Dude, I wonder what's going on in his head, man. I feel like he's slowly catching on to the situation that they're in, but... We have no idea how much he knows, how far along he actually is. All we know is he's definitely sort of like keeping his eye on them, trying to, I guess, observe them closely for sure. And then we still have that other spy that we met like two or three episodes back. We haven't really seen him since. But I wonder how he's going to play into the overall story. Because he seems like a pretty scary dude at first. But, uh, who knows? He might actually be a good guy. I mean, we are on the same team at the end of the day. But I don't know. We shall find out. This opening's so good. Man. Oh, that woman with the umbrella. We know she was from Kazuki's backstory. But I don't know if it was ever said if that was his, like, mother or if that was his wife. All we know is it was a pretty dark flashback. Oh, the daycare calling. And what is this ringtone? It sounds like freaking the end is coming. <laughs> Why is that? Is one of the teachers sick or something? Oh. 
Are they having like an inspection or something? Crunch time. Dang, this is bad. We just accepted a bunch of jobs too. Now we're gonna have to bring media along again. Or find a babysitter. That's probably the next step. Oh, but then again, they were just talking about how they're like, they have to cut down on their expenses. So they can't really pay for a babysitter. Oh no. Or homework. Oh, is it like... Oh no! <laughs> Man. So... Let's see. What lie are they gonna come up with? <laughs> oh, yeah, she said you're not going anywhere. <laughs> I love how Ray, whenever he's not interested or doesn't want to do work, he just immediately walks away from the situation, regardless of how important it is. <laughs> He's like, all right, I'm out of here. All right, she's asleep. Now's our time. Dang. They look dead. <laughs> These two are practically zombies at this point. See, but I know exactly how Ray feels. It's different when you're gaming, dude. When you have something actively stimula stimulating your brain and, like, that you're enjoying, you can stay up super late. But when you're doing something you obviously don't want to do, He's gonna go back to sleep. Yep. <laughs> Man, they are not, they are going through it right now. The media isn't taking that for an answer. <laughs> she does not care. Oh no. Oh no. This is bad. She's sneaking out. Mm, man. She is sneaky, man. I don't know. I feel like she's already taking after them. Look at that! Look! This is perfect! The fact that she's able to tail this professional spy without him even knowing. Dang. Meaty. <laughs> A dog. The perfect distraction. <laughs> Meanwhile, where did Kazuki go? <laughs> and now she's lost. Dang, nobody's there. Maybe that's a good thing, though. It's better nobody- Well, no, 
Because if there were people there, then she could at least, like, ask for directions and stuff. Or ask, like, hey, have you seen this guy? Ray screwed up big time. Oh, no. Oh, no, this is terrible timing. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, but cute, John. She's lost, <laughs> but that look on her face. <laughs> Dude, Reedy has the funniest expressions. And the worst thing is, he doesn't even know that she was tailing him. Oh, I wonder, though. Do you think she's going to bump into to q -chan? Or q -san? Dang, they lost her already. Oh, wow. I thought it was her for a split second. Oh, this is the dude, the spy. Dang, this dude is looking mean. Man, no words. And here he is. I told you, dude. I knew he was going to bump into her. I wonder if he's going to find out. He said us. <laughs> what do you mean us? Dang. Those fatherly instincts kicking in. <laughs> Man. And now they gotta tell him. She's like, huh? What do you mean? That guy specifically. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, they're slipping up, man. Dang, this dude is serious.
I don't think he means it like that. I think he means like, you know, finding a place for her. Oh, okay. He's like, what? Wait. <laughs> Something tells me he'd be able to, like, handle her way better than they could. But, of course, she's going to miss them. So it might not be as easy as I think. Fatal consequences. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I highly doubt that. Alright, well, let's see how this goes. I'm really interested in seeing. <laughs> she already almost slept up. Alright, so now what? Juice. Dang. This is cool, man. This isn't just some apple juice out the fridge. She's getting the full experience. And the straw. And the swirly straw. Man. He seems like a pretty nice guy whenever he's not cracking down on Kazuki and Rei for screwing up. No way! <laughs> what ideas are you putting in this man's head, Ray? <laughs> this man... Oh, what's he gonna say? Mm-hmm. Because they're... Mm hmm? A stand-up comedian. <laughs> Dang, okay, so we got a nice a nice cover up for him. What about for today? He's a pro gamer. A Middle Eastern oil baron. What? What a weird combination. A Middle Eastern oil baron. And a comedian. <laughs> Is he using a sniper scope as a binocular? Or a telescope? <laughs> She's trying so hard to, like, catch herself when she slips up. Mmm. You starting to understand. 
and just what they've been doing outside of spy work. That's wholesome. <laughs> No, oh, wait, I just realized. I just realized the freaking drawing of Ray. <laughs> oh, man. She actually drew him as an oil baron. Oh, she said it. I think Q Chan already knows, though. <laughs> yeah, he knows. You've been lying. Time to come clean. Maybe he can actually help. And maybe he'll actually be okay with it. Oh, this is cool. A comedian and an oil bear, dude. That is such a such an out there job. I smell money. This anime is so cool, man. Yeah, now we're getting into the real part of the episode. Hmm, probably has to do with his dad. Mm, he understands. Guess we'll just have to find out. Dang. Biggest question of their lives. And look at that. They didn't even have to say anything. He already knew their answers, man. Holy. What a great episode, man. I feel like every single episode of this anime has hit. Like, there's not a single miss throughout this entire series so far. And we're already almost at the halfway point, dude. Like, what? What an enjoyable series. And there's so many different reasons to love it. You could love it for each of the individual characters. Like, maybe you love Miri. Maybe you love Kazuki. Maybe you love Rei. On top of that, you have just the overall comedy in the show. It's hilarious. The story... Especially when you get to the, like, darker, more intense parts, like when you learned about Midi's mother, and when you learned about Rei's past, Kazuki's past, all of these things together just make this a phenomenal show. Like, I, no joke, no joke, I might be jumping the gun here, since the series isn't actually done, but I think this is probably a 10 out of 10 for me.
when it comes to a great, like, feel-good anime, this is definitely 10 out of 10 for me. There's not many others out there that I think are better than it. There's some that are, like, as good and that are close, but not many that are better. Alright, so that was the end of the episode, and my question of the day for you guys is going to be, what are your thoughts on Q-chan? We got to learn quite a bit more about him in this episode. He's actually been in the series quite a few times, but only for very brief moments, and this is the first time that we really got to see what kind of person he is, and that he's not this super scary, strict sort of boss that they've had or I guess that uh, Kazuki has kind of painted him to be. I mean, he definitely can be towards them, but that's not like who he is as a person, like in general. It's, he's only like that around them because they screw up so much. But that is pretty much all of my thoughts on this episode. Thank you all so much for watching this far into the video, and I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.